In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add code to activate your Lightbox Gallery. Um, so to, be, to begin with, um, this is where we left off in the previous video. We've got our thumbnail images. Um, and what we want to do is we want to make sure that these images, actually when you click on them, that they open up the larger version uh, of the image. So we're simply going to select the first image and go down to the property inspector down here. We're going to click on the in the link area um, and rather than use the uh, point to file tool we're actually going to just use the browse for file folder which is an easier uh, tool to use in this case. So I click on that and then I'm going to locate the images folder and the gallery folder and there is image one. So image one thumb JPEG, I'm going to link to image one JPEG, the full version of that image, and click open. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the same for image two. Click on that, choose the folder, click image two, and then the third one, click the folder, click image three, open, and then the last thumb, thumb four, I click on the folder and click on image four and then click open. And so now these are all uh, ready to open and if you preview it in the browser you can make sure that the links are working. So I'm going to click save and if I click on it, it just takes me to the image on a separate page. Okay. So all the links are working, but it's not functioning the way that I want my Lightbox Gallery to function. Um, so, uh, in order to uh, do this, I'm going to add some code here um, to activate this JavaScript Lightbox Gallery. I'm going to open up my code area, and then I'm going to um, hide... Dreamweaver for a minute here while I go to the web and get some code. So I'm going to hide Dreamweaver. I'm going to launch my browser. Um, I've still got my page up here, uh, but I'm actually just going to, I'm going to open up a new tab. So I've opened a new tab in my browser um, and I'm going to search for Lightbox. Lightbox. If I do a search for Lightbox, I get this top hit here is Lightbox Dokesh, uh, Lokesh Dakar is the um, Lightbox version 2 um, uh, distributor. Uh, this is open source. So this is the page you should be on Lightbox, the original Lightbox script. Um, and we're going to download Lightbox, but we're going to also leave this page open because there are very simple instructions on how to use Lightbox. And you can see step one, load the JavaScript. Step two, turn it on. So the instructions are here. All you're going to do is download Lightbox. So I'm downloading it. It gives me a compressed a zip file that I will unpack. So I just double click to unpack it. And, and then <clears throat> and I'm going to once again hide the browser. So I'm going to hide Safari for a minute here. And when I open up Lightbox, you'll notice that there are some resources in here. Um, and all we want from this folder um, that we're going to use uh, are these three folders, JavaScript, IMG for the images that are used with the JavaScript behavior in the Lightbox pages, and CSS. Um, so I'm going to also open up my root folder here, and I'm just going to simply select the CSS folder from the Lightbox download, the IMG folder, and the JavaScript folder. And I'm going to drag those three folders into my root directory at the root level. So notice now I've got my own desktop CSS, my gallery HTML in my root folder, my index. I do have my images folder still, 
but now there's an IMG folder which contains the Lightbox script, and I'm just going to leave that leave it that way. Um, my index page, a JavaScript folder, and my media folder, which I we haven't used yet. So now I've got all of the components in there to access um, this uh, JavaScript code, and um, I'm going to open up my Dreamweaver page again. So I toggle back to Dreamweaver. Um, and so here are my, here is a section in my code where the images are all listed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the beginning of each one of these a href, which is the link for the image. And I'm simply going to hit return so that I've got each one of these brand new opening tags a href on a separate line and this is it's not necessary totally necessary for you to do this but I'm doing it just so I can separate the code for all of my four images so when I do that I've got the um, code laid out here a href and the a tag closes here so this is the whole link for um, importing the thumbnail image and linking to it um, and making it link to the, the main image. So <clears throat> now we're ready to get our Lightbox code, um, JavaScript code, and add it to our HTML page. All right, so I'm going to toggle back to the Lightbox page. And it says, look inside the JavaScript folder folder and lightbox, lightbox and load both of these files. Load jQuery first. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this code. And I'm going to copy it. I'm um, going to uh, copy, toggle back to Dreamweaver. And right in Dreamweaver, underneath the link line 6 in my HTML code, I'm going to hit return, so make sure you're inside the head section of your HTML code, and I'm going to paste that first bit of JavaScript. The second thing I'm going to do is go back, and it says, look inside the CSS folder um, for the Lightbox CSS and load it. So actually, I'm going to grab that bit of code as well, and I'm going to copy it, toggle back to Dreamweaver, and because it's a link to the CSS, I'm going to actually go once again after line six, hit return and load the second style sheet in. So this is actually telling uh, this HTML page to look for additional CSS code in a folder called CSS and in the Lightbox CSS um, uh, document. So now that we've got that code in there, um, we go to the next part of activating our script. Then the last step in this process is to add the Lightbox code to activate your Lightbox gallery. And uh, to do that, all we're going to do is we're going to grab this piece of code here. We don't need the ahref image part because we've already got the ahref tag um, in our code. So we're going to just select this piece of code we need right here, um, which is uh, the um, data lightbox image one data title my caption. And I'm just going to copy that, toggle over to Dreamweaver. And where we want to paste that is right here after the href, after the quotation marks that links to our image, we're going to Position the cursor in there, add a space, and paste the lightbox code to activate it. Instead of just a single image, though, I'm going to create a gallery with multiple images. I've got four images. So I'm going to call it Dave's Gallery. You can call it whatever you want. Um, the example on the lightbox page is Road Trip. Um, so for different galleries, you can have different data lightbox names. And then the caption is data title. So 
my caption, I'm going to replace that my caption with um, Dave plays tennis. Um, Dave plays tennis. Uh, and then uh, everything else stays the same. It's linking to the same thumbnail. Um, let's preview this now and make sure that our Lightbox uh, JavaScript is working. So I'm just going to, before I do code for all the rest of them, I'm just going to preview in Safari. Yes, click Save. Click on the image and indeed it pops up with this image, but I can't go anywhere because I haven't added code for the others. Notice there is the um, little X to get out of here and the caption is working. So that's a good sign. So I'm going to close that, toggle back to Dreamweaver, and now I can just copy that little chunk of code there, um, probably want it with the quotation mark, from data lightbox to the end of the caption. Copy that, go to my next image um, after the quotation mark in the ahref tag paste. So this is for image two. Dave's gallery stays the same. It's part of the same um, gallery set. But instead of Dave playing tennis, Dave plays cards in this second shot. Um, this all stays the same, so I'm ready to paste the code again after the third image. Position the cursor, paste, same gallery name. Um, Dave, instead of playing tennis for this caption, is it's Dave at Santa Monica. I love that place. And then the last one is going to be um, Dave plays guitar, which I don't do enough. So there we go. Play, Dave plays guitar. I've got all my captions, got everything included as part of the same gallery, so they should all um, work as a set. Let's hope so. We go to preview in Safari, save changes, and open up the first one. It's all good. I get the arrow to move back and forth between my images. The captions are working. Uh, it's all looking good so far. Dave plays guitar. I can go back and um, I can exit out of here. Um, and that is my Lightbox Gallery working. One last thing though here is that notice the thumbnails are all still um, different shapes and sizes. And I can fix that by going back to Dreamweaver and I'm going to add a new rule here, one last rule for images in my gallery. And I'm going to, um, so I'm going to go to the CSS Designer panel, click on plus next to selectors, and I'm just going to um, replace this text with a class rule. It's going to be dot um, gallery images, uh, gallery image TMBS for thumbs, gallery image thumbs rule. So dot gallery image thumbs rule. And you could probably abbreviate this a lot, uh, a lot better than that. But I want it to be descriptive. And all I'm going to do with the, uh, this rule is um, to make the width, a specific width in pixels, 150 pixels, and 150 pixels high. So this is going to probably skew some of the images when I apply this rule. Nevertheless, it's going to make them fit all the same dimensions. Um, it'll force them to be the same dimensions. Um, and uh, then I'm going to also give them a little bit of um, uh, a little bit of padding <clears throat> around um, each of them. Um, and to do that, I simply select this at the, the top. I'm going to say three pixels. 
apply to all, click to change all properties. So they're all going to have three pixels of padding. Um, and you could add a border around them if you want, but I'm just going to uh, leave it like that and see see how uh, this this looks when I apply it. I'm going to close this code window a little bit. And so um, I've created my rule. I select my thumbnail image. I go to the property inspector, choose class, and choose gallery image thumbs. And yeah, it skewed it a little bit. But click on the next one, gallery image thumbs, gallery image thumbs, and the last one, gallery image thumbs. So ideally, you'd be better off in your photo editor or Photoshop or whatever you're using to probably make sure these thumbs are all of the, um, all the same dimension. Um, however, if uh, you don't have that luxury, you can create a rule, as I just did, to give them a little bit of spacing in between and make them all the same dimensions now. So at least they are a standard standard set. And now when I preview in Safari, yes, I save my style sheet. And you can see the thumbs are all the same size. You click on them, and then they go to the actual real picture, which is... Uh, of course, has its own individual dimensions. So that is how to create your lightbox gallery and style your thumbs uh, in Dreamweaver um, using uh, um, open source JavaScript.